Lola is got a lot of similarities with me and also a lot of differences. I've never, I, I, I actually, I was always kind of shy when I would go into new places. And I would fake it really well because I'm very loud. So I would just, you know, think if I cranked it up, you know, turn my voice up, I wouldn't, you know, come off nervous. She does the opposite. She's like kind of internal and, you know, whatever. And her growing and becoming more like, you know, a, a woman in this movie is really amazing because I made this transition, you know, probably about a year ago, I think I made the same transition that Lola did, probably when I was, you know, maybe even two years ago, when I was 16. And I felt exactly what Lola's going through, and now that I'm 18, I feel completely different, and then, you know, I know in two years I'm gonna be different after that, different after that, everyone keeps changing. And I love that this movie shows such an evolution. It shows what Lola is, you know, at 16, and what Lola will probably become, which is a lot like her mother. And then you see the grandmother, you know, Marlo, uh, you know, and you see her and you go, oh, that's probably what she'll be like when she's a grandma. You know, you get to see the three generations, which I think are amazing. Her relationship, I think, uh, you know, with Anne is a lot like me with my mom. Um, I'm really close with my mom, very, very close, but that doesn't mean that we don't, like, you know, love each other, but we fight like crazy. And there's times where, you know, Lola and Anne, you know, sometimes things get, you know, said that, you know, you don't mean. It's just out of anger. And I think it's really important for daughters to know that Moms will say things just like we say things, you know, just because your mom doesn't mean you're perfect. And they'll say things that they don't mean. I think this is a really important message. You know, you get to see the hurt on both ends, and moms get to watch and go, okay, I get what my daughter feels, you know, because now I've seen Lola, you know, and talk to Lola the way that they talk to their daughter, and you see, okay, that's what my daughter feels. And the daughter can see what the mom feels. You know, you get to really see both of their lives and see how what they say, which is so typical of moms and daughters to say, it's not very scripted. A lot of it's a lot of improv. And you get to see the way that it affects each other. I hope they see uh, all of us in a new light. You know, I hope they see me as someone who is maturing, you know, not stepping away from my younger fans, but maturing and, you know, picking roles that I can really relate to. And I am so excited to see Douglas, you know, come out and, as, as an American actor. I think he's done so many amazing things for the BBC. One of my favorite movies, Boy George, he's the lead. and unbelievable so so happy to see him succeed and I think also you know for me as I came from a franchise Hannah Montana and Ashley Green came from Twilight so I'm happy for people to see her in a totally new way I mean she could not be more opposite she's the popular girl the bitch that we're all like all the time picking on you know and and whatever and I love that she got to play that role because it's so opposite of what she plays in Twilight and I didn't know you know obviously I don't think she watches Hannah Montana I never seen I've never seen Twilight so I didn't know her from that so I think that's good too is having her in a completely different way and we've just had really amazing actors I can't wait to see what they do in the future I mostly just want to say Thank you to Demi so much. Who knows if she'll ever even see this. I just want to say thank you to Demi because she's the main reason I got involved. You know, this movie was just kind of an indie film that was kind of being talked about. And, um, you know, I heard it every now and then. And then Demi was like, this is something that I want to do with Miley. I want to be a part of her life. And without her, I wouldn't be on the set. Without her, I wouldn't be who I am sitting here. I wouldn't know a lot about myself. I got to meet a lot of great people. And so I just want to thank Demi for taking that first step, really taking the initiative and saying, let's really put this together. Let's make this movie because... You know, Lisa's from France, didn't really know. We didn't have the producers behind us quite yet. It was Demi and Lisa who got me on board. So thanks a lot to Demi.